Hey, this is Joel McDonald with NewbiePPC.com, and I wanted to discuss something that I kind of developed for, for my own projects with my clients and my own businesses, and it's called campaign cloning. And uh, to set this up, let's just kind of talk about a scenario. Let's say that you hear some uh, advice, whether reading a blog or attending a conference or whatever, but you you hear that um, it's a good idea to separate your search and your display network campaigns. Um, you should never run keywords in the exact same campaign because they perform differently. Well, I wholeheartedly agree and think that you should make every effort to make sure to do that. Now, a lot of people think, gosh, that's a lot of trouble. I have thousands of keywords and hundreds of ads and and dozens of ad groups and that's just too much work. Well, I want to show you a solution to that. So, um, and the cool thing is, it applies to more than just fixing search and content network. There is an unlimited amount of things that you can do uh, once you learn this process called campaign cloning. So, here we are. Let's just pretend this is your ad group or your uh, AdWords campaign, and you've got a uh, a widgets campaign and it's nicely organized um, it's got three ad groups under blue widgets pink widgets and green widgets and of course you're very disciplined in how you set it up um, you've got multiple ads written for these uh, for each one you've got a couple green widget ads you've got a couple pink widget ads and a couple blue widget ads so you're you got best practices going on there because you're split testing by the way, don't worry about this. These are this is all a fake account that I use, so um, they disapproved it because it's a fake URL. But um, for demonstration sake, this should do the trick. So uh, you've also got keywords all lined up. Um, if you know, if we go drill down on your blue widgets campaign, you're going to see the two blue widget ads that you're split testing and you're going to see all of the blue widget keywords now you would probably have more than this and so on but uh, and let's even say that you're doing the best practice of doing exact match only in that campaign great that all looks good but there's one problem and that's if you look here at the settings you're advertising in all networks and that is a big big faux pas the reason is that your keywords are going to perform entirely differently in each network. So you want to separate those. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in just a few minutes. So the key is to get out of AdWords and go use their fancy tool called AdWords Editor. And here it is. If you don't have it, go download it. It's free. Just Google AdWords Editor and download it. It's the best thing since sliced bread. It will save you tons of time, and I'm gonna, about to show you one of those examples. Okay, so you got your be best practice. You're, so you're going to go and separate your search network campaigns from um, and, and clone them. You're going to do the exact same keywords. You're doing the exact same ads, exact same ad groups, exact same everything but you're gonna clone it so that you can separate search network from content network stuff so uh, the first thing we want to do is just rename this campaign because it's gonna become our search network only campaign and of course we want to turn off the display network and you know what while we're at it we're gonna turn off mobile devices because mobile represent two to five maybe seven percent of the market right now and that's enough volume to justify keeping an eye on them separately too so we're gonna turn that off turn off mobile devices and only use desktop and laptop computers for our search campaign now what we're gonna do is add the other campaigns where we're gonna copy and paste all of those ad groups and ads in so I'm just going to use this information up here campaign, campaign daily budget, languages, and geotargeting. And uh, I have to hand enter that up here. The key is to just do a tab between each one. Now I'm going to name three campaigns. Um, 
You know what? I'm going to name four just to show you an example of a couple another test that you can do. The first one is going to be widgets display. My daily budget is a dollar. My languages are English and my geotargeting is US. Now I'm going to just copy all this detail. I'm going to do another campaign called widgets mobile. I'm going to paste everything in there. And then I'm going to do widgets. And this is a this is a unique one. You probably haven't heard this before, but uh, I think it's very important. Widgets display image. Lots of people use image ads. Not a lot of people separate them from text ads in the display network. And those two perform entirely differently, so you want to maintain them in two separate accounts because you will be able to bid a lot less on image ads and you want to be able to do that. And you'll also notice that um, the performance is a lot worse on image ads. Uh, so you, it's necessary to bid a lot less. So we're going to put our constraints in there. And then I'm going to do another one. Widgets. UK. Because another best practice is to never, ever, ever run uh, campaigns. Even if you sell worldwide, you don't want to run them in the same countries um, because they perform differently and sometimes very differently. So the only difference here is I'm going to say targeting is United Kingdom. You know what? Just for grins, I'm going to do a, a, the exact same setup for Canada. So there we go. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six campaigns that I've set up next and there we go I can hit finish so now these are placeholders I've just set up the campaigns but I don't have any ad groups or ads or keywords but the cool thing is that was the hardest part um, so now what I want to do is I'm gonna go over here to search I'm gonna click on ad groups and I'm going to shift click here and I usually just do control C but you can I'm going to show you so you can uh, copy those ad groups and I'm going to paste them into each of the new campaigns that I created. So there we go. I'm almost done. I, I do have a uh, couple other things I need to do. Now I need to tell AdWords which networks I want. So I'm just going to start from the top. In Canada, um, well technically I would do Canada display and Canada, um, you know, one for each, but I'm just going to do Canada search network to see how my stuff performs in Canada. So I'm going to go over here to campaigns, turn off display, only do computers, not mobile devices, and I'm all set. Now I'm going to do um, in the display network I'm going to turn off search because I only want display network traffic and I'm going to uh, only look for desktop and laptops word of advice don't do mobile devices for the con for the display network it's great for the search network or it can be good for the search network I haven't seen it work very well in this in the content network you're welcome to test I always encourage you to test rather than just taking people's word for it but uh, in my experience, I have have seen it actually do terribly uh, in the content network. So, just a little tidbit for you. Display image. We want not search traffic. We want display traffic, and we want only laptops and computers. Mobile. We want the search network. We do not want the content network, but we want mobile devices only, not laptops and computers. Search network was already set up, so everything checks out there. And then this last one, we're just going to do search, uh, and then we are going to do desktop and laptops only. So now we've got everything set. We've taken the exact same ads 
the exact same keywords and we've we've multiplied them six times and as you can see there are limitless possibilities here um, and all we have to do is just kind of check our math make sure that we've got all our settings right what you want to make sure you're not doing is you know you don't want to have search network on where you're supposed to be in the display network you don't want display network where you're supposed to be in search network so it's always a good idea to check your math but after you do that you're good to go you can hit post selected campaigns and and uh, it will take all of the keywords that you created, all the ads you created, all the ad groups you created, and slap them up. And the really, really powerful thing here is, you know, after you hit post, it takes a few seconds, and it loads them up. It's failing because I have irrelevant, uh, irrelevant URLs, but um, you get the idea. So the really cool thing that happens here is let's go on over, let's go on back to our AdWords account and we can go back and look at our campaigns and there they are they're all nice and organized for us but when you start to go back and look at your campaigns you'll then you know as you start to collect traffic here and and hopefully let me fix this so we're seeing the conversion column we want to see cost per conversion and uh, the number of conversions you know so what you're going to start to see is that you know, even though you thought you might do well in the United Kingdom, it might cost twice as much per conversion. So you you would then just adjust bids for the exact same keywords, but you would drop those maybe in half. Um, and you might be killing it in Canada, so you could raise those keywords. And uh, the big, big things you'll see is you'll see drastic differences in performance between the search network and the display network and then again in the display uh, image ads and all of the you know by by taking the exact same keywords and cloning them six eight ten fifty times I mean there are unlimited combinations of how you can split these keywords out to test them um, you'll start to see differences in performance based on whether they're searching at 3 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon, whether they're searching from the United Kingdom or the United States, from California versus Florida. You'd be shocked at the, the amount of different things where it's important to take the exact same keywords but bid on them differently and set up tests so that you can watch and see how those keywords perform. And that is how you win the game against your competitor not by outbidding them or beating your head against a wall about quality scores it's by doing things that they'll have no way of tracking what you're doing and beating them by being more smart so I hope that lesson was helpful uh, we have more information including a report with about 20 different ideas that you can test using this cloning strategy at newbieppc.com Feel free to drop by there, collect a few re free reports, and uh, chime in if you have any questions. Either I or Howie can get back to you with answers. Thanks so much for watching.